Hello owners, it's Drew with another Switch Axe explanation video. I'll be explaining the mechanics of exhaust and KO and how it relates to exhaust file Switch Axes. I'll show you why you should not expect to get a ton of KOs with this weapon, and then share my opinion on this type of Switch Axe. Okay, so exhaust and stun are separate statuses that can be applied to the monster. These statuses are very similar to other statuses like poison and paralysis. So when you apply enough exhaust or stun to a monster, a relevant effect will trigger. For stun, the monster will fall over for a period of time, and an important thing to note here is that you cannot apply stun to a monster that is stunned. So you cannot build towards the next stun until the monster fully gets up. For exhaust, the monster will flinch and its stamina will be reduced. Every monster has a hidden stamina gauge that depletes as it performs attacks. Triggering exhaust will cause it to lose additional stamina and cause it to flinch. An important detail here is that exhaust damage does not reduce the stamina of the monster directly. Just like any other status, it is when you apply enough exhaust status that you will trigger the exhaust effect, the monster will flinch and lose some stamina. When a monster runs out of stamina and it is not enraged, the monster will be in an exhausted state. It will often just stand there and drool or move and attack very slowly. Just like other statuses, exhaust and stun become harder to trigger every time you trigger it. Here's an example. The first time you stun Malzano, you need to apply 150 stun. The next time, you need to apply 150 plus 192, so 342. The time after that will be another 192 on top of that, so 534. This does eventually cap when it reaches 1008, but the main takeaway here is that every time you trigger stun or exhaust, it'll be harder to trigger it the next time. Alright, so how does an exhaust file apply exhaust or stun? Oh wait Carter, you want me to throw that? Sure, go get it. So the sword attacks and the foul bursts on the switch axe will apply the exhaust shown on your switch axe. This can be increased with a stamina thief armor skill. You can tell exhaust is being applied if you see a blue cloud burst effect when you strike the monster. When you strike the monster on the head and apply exhaust, you also apply stun. Now here's an important point. The amount of exhaust that you deal to the head has no relation to the amount of stun that you will deal to the monster. Any stun damage that you deal to the monster with an exhaust switch axe will apply 5 stun. And that's it. You may begin to understand now why you should not expect to stun a monster a lot with an exhaust file switch axe. Going back to the Malzano example, you would need to hit Malzano in the head at least 30 times to apply the first stun, 69 times for the second one, nice, and 107 times for the third. I am purposefully not including status AK to keep things simple, but in practice these numbers will be even higher. Because the amount of stun you apply is so low, effects like Slugger are not really worth it and will not make that big of a difference for you. So in general, you will expect to get at least one stun. The second one will be pretty difficult, and the third one will be extremely difficult to achieve. But one or two stuns per hunt is not trivial. It will add a good amount of value to your hunt. But the most prominent effect of an exhaust foul switch axe is the large amount of exhaust status that you apply for flinches and eventual monster exhaustion. So, onto my opinion on exhaust foul switch axes. I think it's a good option for a raw damage build. It does less damage than a power file, but the flinches, exhaust, and stun it's not trivial. It will add a lot of value to your hunt. Like most comparisons with Switch Axe, Element is almost always the strongest. A couple interesting interactions with Exhaust is that flinching flying monsters causes them to fall to the ground and remain down for a similar time as a stun. Exhaust effect is also a bit less useful in Master Rank as the monsters are enraged a lot of the time. In addition with afflicted hunts, when a monster is knocked out of its afflicted state, it automatically becomes exhausted anyway. With the Reconqueror's Switch Axe, it's relatively easy to get that purple sharpness by just augmenting the sharpness into the weapon. So it does have pretty good purple sharpness options. So overall, I think Exhaust File Switch Axe is a pretty good raw build. However, I also think that Exhaust File is a great way to get into using Switch Axe. Its amp gauge is easier to charge. Um, you get more openings with your flinches and exhausting the monster and the stuns. So it's a great way to get into weapon and not need to make a bunch of different Switch Axe builds just to get started. If you thought this video was helpful, let me know in the comments. I received some requests for an exhaust file build, so I took a close look at exactly how exhaust files work. I plan to have a build for exhaust file coming out next. I have a Switch Axe file explanation video here if you're looking to learn more. But besides that, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.